I'm T.S. Decker, Command Sergeant Major, retired. Today on How To, we're gonna do something a little out of the ordinary. We're gonna discuss how to set up, operate, and execute a man day. This is military.com's How To. Welcome to Man Day. Happy Man Day. Yep. People ask me, why is there a Man Day, Tom? Well, here's the deal. We get together, try to do it three times a year, call it Man Day. Not to offend anybody, but that's what it is. My wife actually brought up the name, why don't you men just get out of here? Good point, so we do. In order to throw a proper Man Day, planning has to go into this. First and foremost, you get somebody to host it. Today, our host for this version of Man Day is Billy Dulesky. Neighbor, somebody's wife is gonna let us use their residence, her kitchen, and the backyard to set this thing up. Kitchen on deck! You pick your subject matter experts with whiskey, beer, and cigars. Those are the guys you take in and say, what do you say, what do you say, what do you say? They get their stuff, bring it together, you come here, you start cooking, everybody else has got some kind of dish you're gonna to bring to the table for us. Every man day, Michael and I have a family portrait taken. That's right. The big thing here that you gotta remember is self-discipline. If you need to get a drive home, we always have a couple of folks here that are non-drinkers to get you home safe. This gentleman on my port side here is my brother, Ken. Ken's a 30-year retired law enforcement officer. Man can cook. This is um, salsa soup. It's got hot and sweet Italian. It's, it's good stuff, believe me. If you come to Man Day thinking you're gonna be some kind of non-meat eater, you're wrong. Fucking Man Day! You come to Man Day, you're gonna eat meat, potatoes, stuff that guys eat, okay? We're gonna push away with the quiche and we're not gonna have the asparagus spears. This is the best part of Man yeah. Day. I got Tom cooking for me. All I gotta do is drink beer and wait for the food to arrive. Got our venison burgers here going on the grill. It is a staple of the diet for Man Day. There's so much going on, we got television going. For Man Day every year, Tommy brings a bunch of military movies for us to watch. We have plenty to choose from. Stuff that we like. John Wayne movies, Clint Eastwood movies. They were expendable. Letters from Iwo Jima. We have Fort Apache. Again, anything military related. Constantly running, she wore a yellow ribbon. Got a cavalry background. Not gonna apologize for that. It's Man Day! <laughs> What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to be here in the elements and get it done. It ain't called woman day, it ain't called, you know, big friend day. And man day, people have asked, what kind of games you guys play? Well, let's just say we don't play Yahtzee or Uno. We play pin the tail on a terrorist. <laughs> As in every operation, you cross the line of departure, you got everything going. Inevitably, the frago comes down, which says you got to change what your plan was. Well, you got to have backup plans. You know, you get a text message from Domestic Six, and she says, you need to come home right away. What do you do? Well, you make sure there's somebody in command and control of the of the man day, so in your absence, they can continue to march and carry on and have a successful event. Remember, never forget the guys that can't be with us and gals. For a simple reason is, this is America. Freedom isn't free. I don't do anything when I get together with my friends where we're not flying the colors and we got a table set for those who can't be with us. And over the course of the afternoon, we keep throwing a toast their way to the fallen. The fallen. I'm T.S. Decker. This is Military.com's How To. <laughs>